Oath of Hell Released on the summer solstice Introduction This book is an attempt at reforming the oath that has been long lost since the disappearance of the Ark of the Covenant. The oath is simply truth. You form this oath with God and so your eyes and ears express truthful opinions that is in the interest of God. In return, God gives you life. Let's make a serious effort at not biting the hand that feeds the sun. Reforming the oath means to reconnect the interface of God to God. What is God if not a force of nature? Something that gives life is per definition not evil. Life is abundant only because the sun is re reliable, predictable, and because of this it's take it, taken for granted. This book calls God hell, since it's the worst thing you can imagine. It's a play on your subconscious culture, cultural brainwashing that's been carefully created for the last hundreds of years. Also, the word hell has interesting connections to the ancient Semitic word for God, which in Hebrew is El. I hope you enjoy reading. Page 17 From the chapter Oath of the Sun First there is an image you can see um, there is from uh, Egyptian stuff here with uh, art you know and the rays of Ra is coming down and if you look really closely you can see that the rays are carrying the Ankh, Ankh symbols and the Ankh symbols is the is the oath because if you look in in um, so I'm going to read here a bit the other image you can see that from an Egyptian hieroglyphic dictionary volume 1 page 112 it can be seen that the Ankh symbol not only means life but also to swear an oath so the race of life is the oath itself let's continue reading the mutual beneficial agreement covenant between the host vessel and Ra is for the vessel to see and perceive the truth with its inner eye and then to have faith in Ra to keep its part of the bargain Ra gives knowledge and life force the knowledge can interchangeably, interchangeably be seen as a burden of truth leading to suffering one could theorize that this ensures that the empowered vessel will only fulfill the covenant, covenant of truth out of a meaningful higher purpose due to the suffering no matter the reason it's also a choice of Ra this is the metaphorical keys of heaven or Solomon greater key but in Egyptian mythology it's more properly called the key of Nile or plainly the Ankh the golden key of the sun you see the Ankh is a key that unlocks your potential at the same time an oath binding you together for a mutual purpose thanks for listening bye